Well hi again everybody, welcome to my latest video. Well this video is going to be a product review and the product that I will actually be reviewing is what's called a personal amplifier. It's from a company called Winbrid. It's supposed to be able to help you do speeches in small rooms and things like that. You could also use it as a karaoke machine as long as you have a computer Bluetooth connected to it. But I'll try to test all of those different options in this video. Full disclosure, I received this product freely from the manufacturer. All they wanted me to do was to do a review of it, and I agreed to do so. A totally impartial review. Believe me, it will be totally impartial. Those areas where they deserve kudos, I will give them positive marks on and positive statements associated with that. But those areas that might need some improvement or I find are you know really a problem I will mention that as well believe me and at the end of the video I'll give you a pros and cons breakdown of the entire thing so without for any further ado let me go ahead and do a box opening of this so you see what comes inside okay here it is let's uh, open up this box well here's the breakdown of the options by the way I might as well put that up there right now telling you what the power output is what the voltage input is how long it will run how long it will take to recharge it so I'll try to test some of that, especially the recharging part of it. Let's open it up though. There we go. Upside down. Okay, what do we got? We got an instruction manual. After this box opening, I'll spend some time with this manual and make sure I understand how to do all of its functions. I did try to find this online and I could not find it. So it's not something that you will find at the Windbridge website that you could look at. This one definitely is more involved and instructive than the marketing uh, PDF that I found up there on it, which just had obviously some sales pictures in it mostly. This does not have that. This has real instructions to it. So I'll give her a critique on this later. Put this aside. Okay, let's start with the unit itself. A lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I guess I gotta get this out of the way first. Oh, this is the microphone, the regular handheld microphone that's supposed to come with. Okay, put that aside. Looks like it has a carry strap in it. Okay, that's good. So can I get this out now? There we go. It's got some weight to it, probably mostly the battery. It's got a rechargeable battery in it from what I read. It's very glossy. And then here is the control panel. It can play music. It's supposed to have, uh, oh, it has it right over here. It has a, uh, a port section. It looks like it has the ability for an external microphone, an auxiliary, which I guess if you want to plug in an outside source to it, like an instrument, and of course the 9-volt DC connector for recharging the battery. I understand this thing has a battery already in it. Can I open this up? It doesn't seem to open easily. I don't want to break it right now, so we'll see if it works. It probably is in there. Anything else? Well, on the other side, it has, oh, it looks like it has the connector for a regular USB stick and a micro SD. So that obviously is to get music to play, but I'll double check that and make sure that that's the case. It has on here a little piece of plastic that might interfere with the sound. So I'll go ahead and do the tear right now. See how that comes out. Hopefully I don't mess it up. That wasn't bad, right? Okay, got the tear done. It's really a sticky, more sticky, a normal piece of plastic used to protect. But that's the device. This looks like the part of the headset. Is this the entire thing now? I don't think so. Looks like it needs something else that attaches here. Let me see. Do we have something else that will attach there? Here it is. Also another tear. Not much of a tear. And it looks like this will connect into, into this and be a regular microphone headset to it. It is flexible. You can adjust it any way you want. It looks like it goes in this way and probably just slides over. Yeah, there it goes. Locked in place now. It's got a DC charging port, 9 volts as well, just like the unit itself. And it's got volume, plus and minus, and it's got an on and off switch. Does it come on? Let's see. Yeah, I see a blue light in there, which means it looks like it's come on at this point. I'll turn it off for now. So that's the headset. Put try that on later. What is this? This is a charger of some sort, looks like. Nine volts, so this is a nine volt charger. What is this one? This one is a USB charger, and they give you a little USB. So I guess that's how you charge some of the, uh... oh, this says five volts, so it's not nine volts. So that's what this is for. It'll pull five volts off the USB. This is the power adapter for the USB power. 
Let me see what the amperage is on this. That's always of interest to me. One amp, five volts at one amp. That's all I see there. It's five volts at one amp. See if that's sufficient. And of course, uh, an auxiliary plug, stereo to stereo. Looks like just for no mic, just sound going in, it looks like. So it doesn't have the, or the quadruple connector to allow for both a microphone and the... Uh... So that's what we have in the box. And then this is everything laid out that came with it. Two different charger capabilities, auxiliary and the microphone. wonder why they made that white, my first observation. Why did they make that one white instead of black like everything else? Just curious about that. I don't think that'll, you know, make it unusable in any way. And also, I'm not too keen just aesthetically. No points off necessarily. Some of you might give it to points off though, is why they put, feels like aluminum, may just, yeah, it may be aluminum. But why didn't they just paint that black anodized aluminum? It would have been less obvious, uh, it, quite honestly, it looks like a, <laughs> an old-fashioned uh, radio. And I don't know if that's the impression that they necessarily would want to give. So it would actually look more modern if this ring didn't exist, or it was painted black like the rest of the unit. Again, just an observation. Okay, so let me uh, read through the manual, do some testing, and I'll videotape the usage of it and the results of the testing. Okay, what I have on the table set up now is the personal PA system. I have both microphones. I have the handheld white microphone and I have the headset microphone. I'm going to try them both with distance. I have my camera set up to watch me. I'll probably put it in the corner of the screen here, the output of this camera, and we'll see how it goes. First, let me turn it on and see what it sounds like. You got to give it a Bluetooth long press. Is waiting for a connection. Bluetooth is connected. It's connected to my phone that's on my hip right now, but I have to switch to mode so to use one of the mics. Audio in mode. I'm going to now start my other camera. Okay, so that's now recording. I'll first turn this microphone on. Okay, we are now connected. So hopefully we're loud enough. Let me get a little bit more volume without getting too close to it. And then I'll go backwards and make sure that we can see all this. Okay, good so far. Moving back in my yard, I would guess for about eight or nine yards right now. Away from the... Okay, we're probably about 12 yards right now. Still going good. Testing, testing, testing. I don't hear any difficulty with it right now. I hear it clearly in the distance. Okay. Still good all the way back here. And now I'm as far back as my yard can go right now. Let me see. I think this is about 15 yards. Let me check it with the uh, distance checker here. Let's see what it could get. 19 yards. So it came out to about 19 yards as far as I could get across my yard the long way. So let me go back now and switch to the headset microphone and see if that does anything different. Okay. Working our way back. Getting close to the table. And here we go. Okay, we're back here. Let me now switch this mic off and go to the headset mic. You got to give it a long hold. That's it. The mic is off. Now the headset mic has an actual power on switch. So let me turn this on and see what it does. putting the headset on my head and it is working. This does have a volume control on it so I could try to increase it if I start to lose volume. Okay. Let's go backwards again. Okay, about seven or eight yards. I would guess about 10, 11 yards. 
maybe 13 or 14 yards here. Testing, testing, it's still working okay, I can hear it. I can hear it here. Um, it broke up. Well, no, we're still doing good. We're still doing, well, right about here. It's breaking up. So it looks like we find a point where it's good. Okay, let's see what we got. Where are we at? This thing is still reaching out. This looks about it. Let's see what the distance is here. So the most that I can get out of this is 11 yards. Okay, I think that takes care of the test. We know we have a difference of power between them. It actually wasn't getting low. It was actually breaking up past that 11 yard mark with this headset. Okay, I think that covers it. Let me turn off the headset. Okay, it's now off. Let me turn this thing off. And then I'll stop my other camera. I think we got a fairly decent distance test on both of these microphones. It does work. Let me go ahead now and check to make sure that it can play music. Now I've downloaded some music from the YouTube public domain directory so I don't get in trouble with them. And I'll go ahead and play the music and see what we get. First thing I'll try is a regular USB. I always like, even though the instructions are not clear, it doesn't say, I like to make sure it powers off on it before I plug it in. Let's see what we get. I have music. According to the instructions, it should automatically start. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. Bluetooth is connected. Okay, let me switch off from Bluetooth. You gotta hit the M button. USB flash driver playing. Okay, I'm standing back where the camera is right now. Not bad, it's got a pretty good volume with this thing. Let me see if I raise it up more. No problem with the volume. Let me stop it. And I'll power it off. Now let me change this. I'm going to put the micro SD card in here. I put again some more different public domain music from YouTube onto here. Broke my nail, but okay. Okay, I think I got it now. Let's power it on. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. Bluetooth is connected. Change the mode. Music play mode. That works okay. Let me switch to a different uh, piece of music on there. Okay, that's pretty good. So then the last thing I'll do is I'll check it with the Bluetooth from my phone. I've emailed myself some public domain music. Take Audio this. in mode. I took that out. Let me power, let me put it onto Bluetooth and connect it to my phone. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. Bluetooth is connected. Okay, let me take my phone now and play the music that I emailed to it. It's low. Does it sound familiar? That's my startup music. Okay, let me try a different one. I just emailed it to myself and I'm just playing it from my email. It's downloading. Okay, let's play this next music.
Well, it works. This music, this song is not very loud. Some of them are at different volumes. But it works fine. Okay, I think we can stop that. I'll stop it right from the phone. There we go. So I'm gonna go inside and test out the final one, um, which is using the external aux input and see how that works. And then finally, let's test the aux input. I right now have used the cable they provided, connected it up to my sound output from my computer, and I have music ready to run on the screen here. So I will go ahead and start that music and see what we get. There you go, coming out of it. Okay, I think that covers all the features I wanted to test. Shown here is a scorecard that I developed resulting from this review. As you can see, there are some significant positives to this product and a few things that may not be as convenient. But overall, I think the product did well and everybody should be able to get something out of it. Well, that completes the review and the testing of this Windbridge S92 personal amplifier or personal PA system, depending on what you want to call it. The only complaint I really had is the headset in terms of the range that it had. It wasn't very good, was it? At least I didn't think so. Whereas the regular mic did very well. I didn't see a problem with that at all. So with that, all the other tests worked. And I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Just click on my head here as it pops up. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Well, anyway, until the next time, take care. And I hope everybody's doing well, really. Thanks for watching. Bye.